Yo, we're here. It's called the Academy. We're right outside of Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, I know. I get that a lot too. Yeah, I do. I do. That's the family right there. Yo, yo. What's up? Wow. One arm in. One arm in. Mm hmm. Use him more. Mm -hmm. Use him. Use him. Use him. We're at the academy over here in Vancouver, Canada. That's, those are our hosts right there. Let us use their school. Nice place. Mark. We're here. And Jake, of course, is helping us. We're just strategizing for Damian Maya. So. You better, you know, be alert because I got them figured out. We're going to the grocery store. I brought a juicer. You're about to see what's gonna happen right now in a minute. I'm gonna get back to our room. <laughs> that's, that's, that's technique. Yeah. That's weight distribution right there, okay? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you already know what I get. So I'm gonna get it, okay? We're about to do our juice right now. Here it is. Boom. The Breville. A little refrigerator, backpack. Full of vegetables. Making my juice. Right. I'm drinking some juice that we made uh, from the juicer heat on rock and it has cucumbers, celery, radish, and uh, one more. carrots. How does it taste? It, it tastes great, man. Are you just being respectful or are you serious? I don't know. It tastes really good. I want to down it, but he's like, no. You gotta like you gotta, enjoy. You gotta enjoy the juice. Every sip, okay? <laughs> Have to. You can't. You gotta be patient. It's all about the patience, bro. Don't try to down it. That's right. Come on, challenge. That's, it's the same in jujitsu. Right. You just try to get out. Rah, rah, rah. He's like, no, bro. Darn. You just need to. You need to be patient. Jumping and landing on the ball is a whole different lesson. Okay, another day. But assuming you get up there, somebody helps you stand on the ball, they hold your hand. Once you're there, 
what's going to happen is this. You're going to begin to fall in one direction. As you're falling in one direction, make sure you do a very small lean backwards to catch yourself. Don't try to throw yourself too much and overcompensate just because you're falling forward a little bit because then the ball from underneath your feet and you fall flat on your back or possibly flat in your face. Back up, stand back up, stand back up. Wang, wang, that's trouble. Dang, that's trouble. This little ball right here, I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but look at this. You start it and you create this momentum inside the ball. It's like almost like there's a ball in a bigger ball and you keep spinning it until you get this centrifugal force. It's ridiculous how good it is. Listen. I got it, I got it, I got it. Get one of these right here. It's called the Dynaflex. What? So he's dressed warm because he needs to lose weight because he chooses to go down and fight, you know, the little kids, people like my weight, my size, you know, lightweights, when he really should be going against Brock Lesnar type people. But it's okay, we understand. How much weight do you have to lose, bro? Uh, 10 pounds. Wow, so right now you weigh what? 96. Time. Oh, got it. Oh. <laughs> you 
it still took me too long to get, you know, comfortable, which means I'm still only a brown belt <laughs> at it. Getting there. We're gonna teach Mark next. Okay. Mark. Mark, bro, get on there. I'm tired right now. Bro, you got the balance of a bobcat. <laughs> nope. Ooh. Ooh. That was good right there. That was black belt. 186 for the Filipino Mexican machine. Walking in the city, I'm gonna pick up um, everybody's laundry. All my dry fits, all my shorts, all Mark's sweat outfits that he wore. They were so soaked with sweat, like three or four full outfits, that when we weighed it to figure out how much it should cost, it was probably a good eight, 10 pounds heavier than if they were dry. So the guy in here hooked us up and he said he's gonna weigh it wants to dry. I think it was like 27.5 or 28 pounds wet. Let's check it out right now. <laughs> How much was it before? Oh, come on! <laughs> before... 27 and 27 and a half. half. Let's wait. Go ahead. I want to see it. <laughs> now, it is the correct scale, of right? Of course. It's amazing. <laughs> 21 and a half. 21 and a half. So, six pounds? Or five, yeah. Is that six pounds? Six pounds of sweat. Mark dropped six pounds. Or I'm sorry, six pounds stayed in his clothing while I carried it here from the hotel. 24 blocks. <laughs> Whoa! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa! Respect for every leader. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got five we got minutes. Five. Mark is coming up right now. The locker room. It's on. question arises, why would Hidong Gracie train Mark Munoz to fight against Damian Maya, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu representative? Everybody already knows that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Gracie Jiu Jitsu is essential to fighting MMA. Some people, everyone's learning it. Some acknowledge it and some don't acknowledge the importance of it. Mark acknowledges the importance of it, so we teach Mark. He's a friend of ours, nothing personal towards Damian Maya, much respect for him, amazing fighter, but for UFC 131, for that game, that event, it was all about keeping Mark safe and not getting tapped out. Yo, everybody, we're in the locker room after our fights. Congratulations, Christoph. Yeah, Christoph. Yeah. Uh, I just beat Damian Maya. Hey. So, hey. Hey. Just so proud of our team, you know, just, just the Amazing. network of guys that we have. You know, we, we just, we rise to the occasion because it's the guys that are day in, day out inside the gym working with us, breaking us down, building us up, and it's a team, you know, Rain Training Center. Family. Family. Rain Training Sorry. Center, Kings MMA, the Grace Academy, thank you, Hidon, for everything, you know, for, for coming out and helping of course. us and yes. doing jujitsu with us. So, thank you, everybody, for your support, and, um, and good job, Mark. Yes. Yeah, 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 keep it going.